to March 23rd, the third work day of the week that we shall call it Tuesday of the year 2010. Time to get right into the Lord's Care Ministry. Our daily walk with Jesus, day 81 of the year 2010. Jesus gives the Beatitudes. Brethren, I suggest you write the chapter and verse down so that you can study all of this at your own leisure. If you'd like, you can use the pause button down here to start and stop this study so you can check it in your own Bible as we go along. Okay, brethren, let's get right into Jesus gives the Beatitude, and we're going to use Matthew chapter 5 and verse 7 to start with. Happy are the kind and merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. Gee, James wrote that. If you have been merciful, then God's mercy towards you will win out over his judgment against you. James chapter 2 and verse 13. In other words, not showing mercy places us only under God's judgment. But showing mercy places us under God's mercy as well. Merciful actions are evidence of vital relationship with Christ. The kind of merciful, kindness and mercy go hand in hand. Mercy is often used to describe God. The mercy we receive from him allows us to be saved. It is God's mercy alone that brought Jesus to the cross for unserving, pardon me, undeserving sinners. Precisely because of this incredible mercy, believers ought to demonstrate that quality towards others. If we withhold mercy from others after having received it from God, we show that we do not understand or appreciate God's mercy towards us. Showing mercy means we do not make hasty criticisms. We do not set down demands and expectations of others. We show great patience. We treat others the same kindness, generosity, compassion and understanding that God shows to us every day. Our daily need for prayer. May God's Spirit bring all things to my remembrance. And when in the heat of passion or the stress of life, I am tempted to forget. Faith is a gift that grows as we use it. And you hold fast to my name. I have trusted thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, because he hath dwelt bondifully with me. Your daily walk on that narrow path will bring you eternal life with the Father and his Son. Mother is praying for me. James chapter 5, 16. Ephesians. The effectual favorite prayer availeth much. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Brethren, I suggest you get into your Bible and read and the Bible. Read the God, Word of God, and trust in it, not the tradition of men. Get down on your knees and repent to following men. Ask the Father and the Son for the wisdom, the understanding, and the knowledge of His Word that He's given to you and then follow it.
The Lord says, if you love me, keep my commandments. All of them. His commandments is a pick and choose. It's all of them. It's not multiple choice. You follow all of them. And that's the only way you get to his kingdom and salvation. Not on that broad path that leads to destruction. And that broad path comes from the tradition of men. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.